Hi, technical difficulties. Don't you love it? Um, yeah. See if this works this time. Um, so yeah, the back to the deck profile. If you guys missed it, go watch episode one of this, part one of this. Um, this is going to be the extra deck on the side. Um, I went over to the part where I talked about Chimera, uh, one of the best cards, but we're going to talk about Guardian Chimera. I need a second. Um, but of course he didn't get reprinted in the Mega Tens, because why would he, he, why would he, why would he, he's been printed twice, and he's a 30 caller card both times, but it's fine, enough of my, uh, of my throwing a fit, but, uh, Guardian Chimera, he came up a lot today, um, he, like, I didn't really need him in the grind game today, um, I didn't, which was shocking, um, with Guardian Chimera, um, he, like, he won me some games today. Uh, he was the MVP. But the other MVP in this deck is this guy right here, Rinbrum. Rinbrum in, uh, I placed a Trap Tricks player, uh, round one. And Rinbrum, like, literally won me the game because several times, like, he sent, like, he targeted the monster negated its effect, uh, from Sarah, and then sent back, uh, a card, so it sent back to Sarah, and he's right back at square one all over again, um, uh, not being able to set up a whole bunch, but, um, and then, you know, against, uh, he was, ju he was the MVP today, he really, really was, that and Chimera, I mean, Chimera is so freaking good, uh, Draco Stapelia, uh, Draco Stapelia came on once in the tier limit matchup, but he's still a good card to have. Even a super poly target, he's pretty good. Uh, Albion. Albion came up... Well, let me get this. There we go. The lighting's a little bad. Uh, Albion came up big time today um, in, like, two spots. Um, like, came up against in round two, I believe. Um, but that was pretty much it. Um, he only came up to get, let me get Brandon and White. And that's the only reason why he's really in there. Because I sent him off of, um, I, I don't fuse off him. I, I sent him with Mirror Jade. And then, uh, Albion lets me search a Brandon spell trap. Um, Super Poly Targets. Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon. Um, Magnum the Reliever. Didn't really have to use Magnum much today. Um, I wanted to go into him really, really, really bad, but I couldn't, couldn't, um, there was one chance I could have, there was one, um, but I, I couldn't go into him at all today, and then the line for the, uh, the Brandids is one Mirror Jade, one Lubellion, that's really all you need for this, you don't need multiple for this, you really, really don't, um, and then Brigand, um, and the other one was Albion to send off of that. Um, so you Mirror Jade, you send off of Mirror Jade, you send Brigand, you get Mercurier off of it in the end phase. There was actually a game where, um, what was it? I was able to send Brigand, I sent Brigand and Albion. So both, because one was Fusion Summoned naturally, and then the other one, and then I used it to fuse. And then the Brigand was sent off to Mirror Jade. And both of them going off in the end phase, along with Chimera? Bruh. Oh. Like, your opponent is just like, oh, what do I do here? And the last super poly target is Starving Venom. That's just the OTK push. At least until I get Garua. Once I get Garua, I think things will change. Um, but yeah, I need to get Garua. Um, and the last card, this guy came up big, this is my beater for Unchained, but it didn't face Unchained at all today, I didn't face the doggies, surprisingly, I didn't face the doggos, but, I had this guy here to deal with them, because his effect is really, really good, um, against the Mana DM player, I played him, uh, cause I was gonna go into Guardian Chimera, and then I was thinking, no, 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 go into him, and, because he had a Fenrir out, and I was like, no, 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 go into him, negate his effects, drop him to zero, and he don't die. So, I brought him out, uh, the Fenrir is just stuck, 
and because he had nothing else, the Fenrir was just stuck, and with zero attack and its effects negated, and I was able to attack twice for like a butt ton of damage, and and I had protection because its name is Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, on the field and grave. Which the Burfamet I think will have the same effect uh, as well. Um, and then the last two, they're just some options that I'm thinking of doing. I don't know what else I could really play. I tried Zombie Vampire, I tried like a couple others, but we're playing Nightmare Phoenix. Just what I can do off of Chimera Fusion, I have a choice. I can, if I'm not locked into fusions, I can uh, fuse. I can reset the Chimera Fusion, but if I don't want to set the reset the Chimera Fusion, I can bring back copy of Burfamet and Gazelle back. So if I bring both of them back, um, I can go into Nightmare Phoenix. Um, if I'm not locked out of the uh, locked out of uh, using fusions, and the last one, it's Tryheart. Um, it Tryheart. Uh, I'm trying to use him for a little bit. He's really good right now in the meta. Um, just, like, moving everything to defense, and he's unaffected. So, like, against Pearly, you bring this guy out, and what are they going to do to, like, when they all get shifted to defense mode, and he's unaffected by the uh, activated effects of defense protection monsters, and, and they can't really do anything with it. And with this deck, you, you can bring out three monsters very easily. And he's generic, which is really freaking good. Um, that is the extra deck. Um, I'll show you guys the side. Um, this is a different side deck than what you would see in most. I have Droll. Again, twos are the big things in this deck because... Cross out. Uh, two Drolls. Um, it's, it helps my deck immensely. Um, two cro uh, cro Cosmic Cyclones. One Lightning Storm. I was thinking of two, but... You, using it on two in my side deck is too much. Uh, the MVP of the deck, Super Polymerization. So I'm going to talk about this card real quick. This was the card that if I remembered how to play it, I remembered it cannot be activated against no cards, I, I would have won the entire thing. But we learned from our mistakes. We go forward, and we win. That's what we do here on the Bat Brand channel. That's what I'm going to do. I'll learn from my mistakes, and when I bring this deck back to locals, and I will, I will win with this deck. It, it, we will top these events with this with that, with that, this deck. I love it. Um, get these Super Polys out of here. Super Poly is so freaking good. Uh, two Evenlies. Um, I can actually cross out it if, it, if, if I want to. Uh... Anti-spell fragrance just to deal with those back row sort of reliant decks, especially spells, you know, like Runic and Sprite and some of the others. Uh, Dark Ruler no more. Um, I'd like to play more of these, but just one for now is fine. Now, here's the cheeky text. I'm going to run through these, guys, these for you. Uh, one of them is definitely needed if you're going to play this deck in the side. First off is Bizer Shock. Bizer Shock... Uh, for at least against the Labyrinth deck and against Trap Tricks, uh, uh, basically decks that really set a lot of cards. This thing is really good against them because what you do is you send this to the grave for uh, Chimera Fusion if it's in your hand or like different stuff like that because it requires a Fiend and a Beast. Uh, you fuse with that and then you can return... All set cards back to their respective hands. So you get to summon this thing, and then it just sends everything back, and either the the player that is playing, um, or even if he's in the graveyard, and you use uh, Chimera's effect to send, I mean, Pfizer Shock, maybe you could do some stuff with it, but no Labyrinth player, so I really didn't see it that much, but... It's a borderline card to play. It's janky, yeah, sure, but I'm all about jank, dude. Um, next, King Tiger Wang Hu. Not much needs to be said about this guy. He is the cat beater. Um, he just destroys those little pussy cats. You know, uh, Pearly, 
I don't know, pearly or cats or dogs. I think they're cats. But this guy right here um, is the... Basically, if anything's playing low uh, attack point monsters, this guy will destroy them immediately. Um, it, and now, it also affects you, but this, this card is uh, very, very good uh, to... Uh, to play against certain decks. And the last thing, this is my Unchained uh, thing to deal with Unchained, other than the Chimera, because I pitch him off of a Fusion, or if I just pitch him off of something else, or if he's milled, um, and I go into Chimera, this guy, um, uh, like if he's milled or something like that, if they're like playing Tier Limit, or something like that, but um, this guy I like to use just basically for Unchained, and sometimes stuff that, you know, maybe sometimes, like, stuff that doesn't, in the Mirror Match, he's pretty good too. Mirror Match, he's really, really, really good too. This is Nightmare Magician, uh, the Secret Rare. Uh, so what this card does is if this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed, basically what all the Illusion monsters do, and then at the end of the damage step, if this card battled an opponent's monster, now listen to that line of text. If he battles an opponent's monster, that includes your opponent attacking it. So if your opponent attacks this thing, you can take control of that opponent's monster. It does not say till the end of the turn. This thing will beat Unchained. That's why I'm playing this in here. This is my Unchained beater. This is the thing where I can basically bring this in. And once per turn at the start of the damage step, if another monster attacks, you can destroy one card in the field. It doesn't say your monsters either. It says once per turn at the start of the damage step. If another monster attacks, you can destroy one card in the field. It's as simple as that. So, if you're playing something that isn't, you know, like, like, um, if you're playing against someone who isn't playing Unchained, play this, destroy it. Now, you don't like that last line of text, but if they're playing something that isn't, they would have to waste an Imperm on this, is what I'm saying. Um, but... He it basically he has a thing that is just really really good and if he attacks it he takes it so I'd like to see them get through that but anyway ladies and gents um <coughs> that's the whole deck list uh, for you guys the deck profile um, if you guys did enjoy feel free hit that like button greatly appreciate it um, and uh, stay tuned for more deck profiles to come and if you did enjoy this sorry this was split up didn't mean for that to happen. Um, my phone decided to crap out and die on me, but, um, thank you all so much for watching. As always, stay awesome at Dark Knights.